right. So I literally just did the origin last week, if you'll recall. And now it's time to go become a warden. I like Hey, you must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. Yep, and I talked to you in my cannon run, but I'm just gonna follow Duncan this time. <laughs> Wardenship. Duncan, where are we going? Where 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 are we going, friend? Actually, just Should follow him. You, Usually, I run around and fail your people? king. You will have served your maker. Die in this battle. There and is like an ex the there's an exclamation point here. I kind of want to talk to you real quick. Mm, this isn't good. I'd hate to waste such a promising member of the breed. Are you the new warden? I could use some help. Oh, I almost forgot what we're doing and show something. When I need to roll for it. Oh, I'm more than happy. Cut to four again. Um, I'm gonna take that to be that I should just. This is a Mabari, smart breed and strong. His owner died in the last battle, and the poor hound swallowed darkspawn blood. I have medicine that might help, but I need him muzzled first. You're a Grey Warden, or soon will be. All Wardens are immune to the Darkspawn taint. The most you have to worry about is some tooth marks. Centuries ago, a mage bred them to be smart and understand what they're told. They can remember and carry out complex orders. Most valuable dogs in the world. Trouble is, they generally imprint to one master. Re-imprinting them is very difficult. But without the medicine, re-imprinting won't be an issue. Will you help? Here's an interesting question. Do I roll for something like this where it's a com it's like basically agreeing to whether or not you're getting a companion? Because if I roll a three, then I say, no, I'm not interested, and I never get the dog. I don't think that would be a good idea either. So I'm just going to say I'll give it a shot and not roll for it. Because, I mean, we want chaos. We don't want, oops, I rolled really bad, and now I, do I only get, like, three party members. <laughs> I mean... Stuff that's a little more complicated, I'll still roll for it. Like, um, Will, have you done the circle yet? Or were you around when I did the circle? Just you and Alistair. Oh, well, you get Morgan too. Morgan just gets thrust upon you no matter what. You have not done the circle. So without spoilers, then. Um... Me rolling for things in the circle will decide whether or not I get a companion, but I kind of, I think I'm still going to do it. But when it's a straight up asking me, do you want this companion? I think I should just take the companion. It's just, there are, there are certain quests where whether or not you get the companion is based on what you do in the quest. That, you can kick her out in accent though, I think. Okay. So I'll say I'll give Go it a shot, and, and at least you. that way I know I'll know right away if he'll respond. Let's hope this works. I'd really hate to have to put him down. Oh, puppy! And yeah, you have to put the muzzle on to get him. So I'm going to do that. 
Well done. Now I can treat the dog properly, poor fella. Come to think of it, are you heading into the wilds any time soon? There's a particular herb I could use to improve the dog's chances. It's a flower that grows in the swamps here, if I remember. If you happen across it, I could use it. It's very distinctive, all white, with a blood-red center. Um... I also had a rule I was asking. It usually grows in dead questions. wood that collects at the edge of ground pools. Should be plenty this time of year. If he doesn't get it, chances are he'll need to be put down. for this because it doesn't affect anything except I rolled a four which is a question I already asked I also rolled the wrong die no I didn't because five's not an option never mind I need a one or a two the wilds are off limits to non-soldiers and I have many other hounds under my care Apparently, if you don't finish this quest, you will show up later in a random encounter or something. Okay. Oh, yeah, that happened. Is that what happened to you? Because I know... I think it was last stream you had a, a random encounter where the dog showed up. No, I looked it up, though. Okay. I could have sworn... Um, and this is getting really repetitive, so I'll just say I'll see if I can find Good. it. Good. In the meantime, I'll begin treating our poor friend. Alright, now let me go follow Duncan. And if you go stand beside me, Nicholas, go without that leash, or you shall not be forgotten. My friend, let us bow our heads and remember those who have if fallen I and those who have yet to is. fall. There we go. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother, Sir Mage. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes. I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The Grumpy One. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. You know, one good thing about the plight is how it brings people together. I just had another thought. I haven't chosen a romance yet. Do I just see what naturally happens over the course of rolling other things, or do I roll right now for romance? Because there's four characters you can romance in this game, and all of them are, you just actively choose to have them in your party, so they're definitely going to be in. And actually, there's only three characters I can romance because of the gender I chose. Because I'm female, so I can't r romance more again. I don't necessarily... I stopped myself in the middle. I don't know if I want to romance in this one or not. I... I've never... I've only ever played a Dragon Age game without romancing someone once. It was my first time playing Inquisition. And it was only because it took too long to ma make a choice of who I wanted to romance. And by then it was too late in the game to do anything about it. Just something to think about. Because I can... The only thing about rolling for who am I going to romance is... 
if I then roll dialogue options and it doesn't work out. See what happens with the chaos might be the best bet. Yeah. See what happens with the chaos. If, as the game progresses, I look, uh, it's looking like I'm having multiple options, then I might roll for my option. But I'm just, I'm concerned rolling ends up doing like, I end up trying to romance two people at the same time and that's definitely not gonna work. Although I think I can romance, I think I can romance Zev even if I'm hooked up with someone else first. And I think he can be like a one night stand in, in, on the flip side. I don't think a single romance would actually work on random rolls though. That's a good point. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll put a poll in Discord. Yeah, I know. You know what? I might message Cafe later and ask his opinion because he has played this, although. Yeah, he would remember enough to at least be able to talk about that because I know it's been a while. Or maybe I'll put a thing in Discord or Twitter or something. We'll see. Anyway, rolling. Um, Oh, nothing. Just trying to find a bright side to all this. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage? No, I really love you, Alistair, and I'm romancing you in another playthrough in a very... You very never know. Planet. These mages sneak up on you. Wait, I do know who you are. You're Duncan's new recruit from Orzammar. I should have recognized you right away. I apologize. Good. He didn't exactly catch me at my finest with the mage there. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Alistair, the new Grey Warden. Though I guess you knew that. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. I know. I felt the same way when I did this. Unfortunately, they don't give us much choice. Hmm. There haven't been any Dwarven Grey Wardens in some time. You must know a lot about Darkspawn. Um. That's a sound policy to be sure, but the Grey Wardens have always believed it's important to know your enemy. To know them is to know how to destroy them. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. Yeah. Um, I'm going to add, actually, I'm going to roll, because I don't know if I care about the questions or not. Yeah, the dice say I don't care about the questions, I just want to- You do? Them. Huh, that's a switch. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. I will die laughing if my dice roll for me to romance Alistair, because I'm doing that the other playthrough. <laughs> Um, level up. I'm a rogue. I need roguey shit. Um, I also need my strength to not be 12 for armor reasons. I need it to at least be like 14. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do all the low shit this time. No, I'm not gonna waste it on magic. That's a lie. I'm gonna do it on deck. And I think I had rolled four. I'm focusing on archery, but I'm gonna do both. And I don't think it, I, I do have a bow now. But also, okay, what do I need for things? I need level four, which I think. No, I guess I'm level three. I thought I was level 3 and now I'm level 4, but I guess I'm wrong. Because these spells require level 4. Um, I 
rapid shot is probably what I'm taking. Speed wins out over power. I need improved combat training for that and that and that. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do a rapid shot. One tactic slot required. Alright, so... I think I go back this way. Yes, but it's like, go the actual correct way, I think. I remember this part, this part of the map being very confusing for me the last time I played it. But it's a little fresher in my brain now. Maker above, hear the prayers of your sons and daughters. There we go. We who betrayed your good, because it'll make me go faster. You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. <laughs> she forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. I apologize, Duncan. I'll go collect who we're missing. Hello, this is Sajori, a knight from Redcliffe. How do you do? Welcome in. And this here is Davith, a fellow from Denerim. Charmed, my lady. And this, of course, is the recruit that Duncan said he was bringing. I keep rolling fours, and there isn't a f fourth option. If I roll fours too often, does that mean I have to, like, have chat decide? That was going to be a different playthrough. That's me, the new girl. Now then. Since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood, one for each recruit. I'm sorry, hot <laughs> butt spot. Hi, butt bunch. I've doubled over, it's too much. <laughs> All right, <coughs> excuse me. So sorry that I just coughed at you guys. For the joining itself, I'll explain more once you've returned. I can't read my dice, it's a problem. There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. No, but the effort must be made. I have every confidence you are up to the task. It's possible the scrolls may have been destroyed or even stolen, though the seal's magic should have protected them. Only a Grey Warden can break such a seal. I don't understand. Why leave such things in a ruin if they're so valuable? It was assumed that we would someday return. A great many things were assumed that have not held true. You know what they say about assuming. Find the archive and three vials of blood. Understood. The scrolls contain treaties promising support. Treaties that may prove valuable in the days to come. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. Guess who is? All right. Um, we can wander around the camp, but really all it is is a conversation with Logan that I've had enough times to know that it's pointless. <laughs> you make a butt of butt and butt? Butt? Huh? 
Uh, so let's see. Um, tainted blood. Yeah, that would be the focus. Just getting the blood and then getting the other thing, because you're going to find the blood first anyway. Now for the part where I don't remember how to get out of here. I think it's this way. You there, elf. What's your name? Oh, it, it, it's Pip, sir. Go tell Turnlow game that the war party... Of I course. could also... Hail. I'm told you all have business in the wilds. The gate's open for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. Gee, thanks. I was in the middle of saying something and I don't remember what that something was. Um. I guess we go off into the woods and fight some shit. got confused is what happened. As you say. swarming so gotta gotta stick with close quarters weapons for now I think over here hi dude who is that Grey Wardens? Well, he's not half as dead as he looks, is he? My scouting band was attacked by Darkspawn. They came out of the ground. Please, help me. I've got to return to camp. Um, ooh, rolling for this is an interesting... Y'all? I rolled a two. We don't have time for this, let's go. We don't have time? What, you have an urgent meeting somewhere? <gasps> I've never done this before! I really don't wanna roll a one, but I'm gonna let it. Oh my god, I rolled a one! <laughs> ah! oh. Does the word insane mean anything to you? Oh my god. I rolled a two. I prefer the term ruthless myself. Remind me not to get injured anywhere near you. Alistair disapproves minus three. Well, so much for that, Romance. Hello, Dosmith. Welcome in. <laughs> you came in at an interesting moment. <laughs> Oof, we are. See, I rolled a fun chaos baby the first day, but today we're feeling a little evil, I guess. We're going to take his boots, though. <laughs> Oof. Oof, indeed. <laughs> Well, y'all, we're having an 
interesting start to this. Oh, fruit. To make health potions with. I do believe I went the wrong way. <laughs> popcorn. <laughs> yeah, get out the popcorn, alright. Oh yeah, this is the way I want to go, I think. <coughs> I think. Maybe? Not a hundred percent. Yeah. As you say. The controls. There's a vial of dark smell blood. And there might be more up here. <coughs> no. It will be done. There's another one. Very well. That's what I need for the dog, I think. I assume I'm not allowed to just like climb this tree, right? Oh well. That would have been cool. Murder? Murder! Murder! Now you fall! <laughs> Any last words? By the stone I shall prevail! Any last words? As you say. Dead yet? back there and like bring some dark smoke blood back with you too thank you there we go quest updated that is yes all i needed very well as you say it's the best way to say three vials i still need the uh
still need the treaties while I'm out here. Flower here somewhere. There we go. Of course. Oh, great. Up to. Out of my way, boys. You're impeding progress. Very well. Oh yeah, how's combat sounds today? Are they still too loud? Or are they like okay-ish? I mean, it's really hard to get this game perfect, but if I could get it to the point where it's not blasting your ears out, that would be fantastic. Combats are loud enough to drown out your voice still, I guess that's to be expected with this game. Jinx! Thank you. Well, um... Of course. I also am not talking super loud. It will be done. But... I also need to get to the point where I don't have to literally be screaming for you to hear me because I would blow out my voice if I screamed for two hours. So... Work in progress. Um... Part of it's the compressor I still need to play around with. Part of it is the sound effects are already so low. And part of it's the music. I'm gonna do that. It's the music more than the sound effects, right? Or is it, like, the whole thing? The sound effects I already have down pretty low. I tur I'm turning the music down a little bit more. It's the music. Okay, so yeah. If I turn down the music, it means that... E like, overall, the music is lower, which means main game's gonna be pretty quiet. But I think I'd rather have that, especially since some of the music in the main game gets me muted. I honestly am on the fence about just disabling background music. Because I'm... I'm so torn between, well... This game has one of my favorite soundtracks, but also... I am so tired of all my sound... All of... All my videos get muted. Uh, well, not all, but like... More than half. Also, hi, Kemzy. Welcome in. Uh, good day. I almost said good morning. I was like, nah, it's not morning where you are. 
That's how I do it. It seems to work pretty well. My music is really low. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm going to do this for now, and I'll keep tweaking it. Resume. Where was I? Did I get all the things? I think I got all the things. I mean, if you wander around the woods, there's a bunch of stuff you can find. I just kind of go straight for the things we need to move the story along. Oh, I thought that was... Yeah, no. It's not glowing. From a distance, it looks like it was glowing. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna go with you. Had a good day. Hey, bitch. Yeah. To the treaties. But thank god there's a giant arrow or I would have fucking missed them. Apparently mixing spices is a hard task that requires my assistance. Well, right well. Then. <laughs> what have we here? Are you a vulture, I wonder? A scavenger poking amidst a corpse whose bones were long since cleaned? Or merely an intruder, come into these dark spawn filled wilds of mine in search of easy prey. What say you, hmm? Scavenger or intruder? I'm terrified to roll for this. <laughs> but I'm gonna. What? I am neither. The Grey Warns once owned this tower. Is a tower no longer. The wilds have obviously claimed this desiccated corpse. I have watched your progress for some time. Where do they go, I wondered. Why are they here? And now you disturb ashes none have touched for so long. Why is that? Don't answer her. She looks chastened, and that means others may be nearby. Oh, you fear barbarians will swoop down upon you? Yes. Swooping is bad. She's Your a witch of the wilds, she is. She'll turn us I'll into toads. Witch of the wilds. Such idle fancies, those legends. Have you no minds of your own? You there, dwarf. You have nothing to fear from any witch. Tell me your name, and I shall tell you mine. Let us be civilized. Terrified of the chaos. Well, terrified. Oh no! I rolled a four. Forget it. You first. Very well. Preserve your mystery if you desire. You may call me Morrigan. Shall I guess your purpose? You sought something in that chest? Something that is here no longer? Here no longer? You stole them, didn't you? You're some kind of Sneaky witch thief. Alistair's How very eloquent. How does one steal from dead men? Quite easily, it seems. Those documents are Grey Warden property, and I suggest you return them. I will not, for it was not I who removed them. 
Invoke a name that means nothing here any longer if you wish. I am not threatened. I'm gonna roll, but I don't think three is a good option if I want to complete the quest. And I rolled a three. I wonder what happens when you do it. I mean, I did just save. I can always go back. Yeah, I can always go back and do it again. Let's Why so it. petulant? You wish to know who removed your papers? Twas my mother who did the deed. Morgan gonna hate us. Oh, I rolled a one. Could you take us to her? Hmm. There is a sensible request. <laughs> I like you. I'd be careful. First it's, I like you. But then zap. Frog time. She'll put us all in the pot, she will. Just you watch. If the pot's warmer than this forest, it'd be a nice change. <laughs> Follow me then, if it pleases you. Oh wow, I was snarky with her almost the entire time and she still likes us because... I ended up choosing what is the last option, I think. Or maybe she likes Stark. Greetings, Mother. I bring before you four Grey Wardens who... I see them, girl. Hmm. Hi, Kmo. Much as I expected. I Are we you. supposed to believe you were expecting us? You are required to do nothing, least of all believe. Shut one's eyes tight or open one's arms wide. Either way... One's a fool. She's a witch, I tell you. We shouldn't be talking to her. Quiet, Dareth. If she's really a witch, do you want to make her mad? There is a smart lad. Sadly irrelevant to the larger scheme of things, but it is not I who decides. Believe what you will. And what of you? Does your dwarven mind give you a different viewpoint? What do you believe? I believe I don't want to roll for Flemeth. <laughs> so, thinking ahead, rolling for Morrigan's personal quest is going to be interesting. And possibly terrifying. Two, I'm not sure what to believe. All right. A statement that possesses more wisdom than it implies. Be always aware. Or is it oblivious? I can never remember. So much about you is uncertain, and yet I believe. Do I? Why, it seems I do. So this is a dreaded Witch of the Wilds. Witch of the Wilds, huh? Morrigan must have told you that. She fancies such tales, though she would never admit it. Oh, how she dances under the moon. <laughs> They did not come to listen to your wild tales, mother. True. They came for their treaties, yes? And before you begin barking, your precious seal wore off long ago. I have protected these. You... Oh, you protected them. And why not? Take them to your Grey Wardens and tell them this Blight's threat is greater than they realize. Do I? Perhaps I am simply an old woman with a penchant for mold departments. <laughs> oh, do not mind me. <laughs> you have what you came for. I Time for her. you to go, then. Do not be ridiculous, girl. These are your guests. Oh, very well. I will show you out of the woods. Follow me. Seeing Morgan in this game versus Inquisition is such a wild ride. <laughs> she really, like, she and Liliana both grow so much as a character. Hello, word fangirl, welcome in. Everyone, say hi to word fangirl and give her a follow, and we're gonna. Join you for Danganronpa in like an hour or so. 
Watching this makes me want to do uh, all the worst decisions fun where you just pick the things with the worst possible outcomes. Oh, well, well. <laughs> Stay tuned for my opposite run because that's probably what that's going to be. <laughs> Don't remind me how much my hair is dot dot lol. But uh, remember I told you, you need to start late so that I miss less. So like, you're doing me a favor. <laughs> Cause this girl, she don't do mornings anymore apparently. <laughs> I used to wake up, so last week I woke up at like 10 o'clock on Saturday to catch Dosbip. And now that he doesn't stream on Saturdays, I have no motivation to wake up. <laughs> Definitely not caused by my own laziness. No, you're doing it for me. You're doing me a favor, and I love and appreciate you for it. All right, back to the chaos. Um. Oh, first of all, we like chaos, but we don't like the game crashing and losing all the stuff we just did. So let's do that first. And also, I think the sound is closer to me than, yeah, the hound is like, that's Duncan, and that's the hound. I'm going to do the hound real quick, and then I'll go talk to Duncan, because they're right next to each the other. The Mabari's stable for now, but not improving. Unless I get that herb I told you about, there's not much hope. Let me see. Yeah, that's exactly it. Wonderful. Uh, give me a moment and I'll make this into an ointment. Puppy! He looks better already. I'm sure he'd thank you himself if he could. This I'll roll for. And I got a four. And I got another four. I keep getting fours. Okay, that's three in a row. That never happens when I actually want it to roll that high. Um... Chat decides. Don't pick three. <laughs> One or two. <laughs> two? Alright. What will happen to him now? Let's give him a day or two to recover. Why not come back after the battle? Perhaps we can see about imprinting him on you. I realized when I said chat decides that some of them some some chaos baby was gonna choose three, and I was like, nope, not doing that. I'm not interested. I am not. I didn't read all of them before I rolled for it. I have to pick one because I I need the dog. Maybe. It's likely he understands you're responsible for curing him. Mabari are at least as smart as your average tax collector. Come back after the battle and just or take another look. Is there some is there someone who plays this game and says, no, nah, I don't want the dog? Because if there is, I don't want to know that person. Duncan, you are like right here, right? Yeah. Oh, good grief, this tree is in my way. Soldiers of Ferelden, my sisters and gentlemen, I'm also gonna stand here on second. the eve of battle. So you return from the wilds. Have you been successful? I mean, there are people who take out a certain group in DAI, so probably anti-dog people. That's fair. All right, so to be fair, my first playthrough, I, I did choose that option because I was thinking tactically instead of thinking about my attachment to people. Now that I'm more attached to them, I don't know if I could ever make that choice again other than my opposite run I'm gonna have to. But my very first time, I was like, tactically, the other option is the choice, and you have to make sacrifices. I have more emotion than logic, so I can't do it. That's fair, too. And like I said, now that I'm more emotionally attached, I don't think I can either. But my very first time, I was thinking strategy, and I wasn't really attached to people yet. I think I did that quest like pretty early too, if I remember correctly. Or like as early as it comes, basically whenever it first comes up, I think I did it right away. Because I thought it was important. Um. Good. I've had the circle mages preparing. 
With the blood you've retrieved, we can begin the joining immediately. What if we have second thoughts? Let me be very clear on that point. You are not volunteers. Whether you were conscripted or recruited, you were chosen because you are needed. There is no turning back now. You must gather your courage for what comes next. Courage? How much danger are we in? I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now rather than later. What if you... Okay, so they, I don't think they're gonna give you an option to back out, but wouldn't that be, that would be like the most hilarious end game is at the very beginning you say, no, never mind, I don't wanna do this, and Duncan just like stabs you. <laughs> I've come this far, I want to see this through. I agree, let's have it done. Then let us begin. Alistair, take them to the old temple. Let's do this. The more I hear Speed about this run. joining, the less I like it. Yeah, Are you know, blubbering buddy. again? Why all these damn tests? Have I not earned my place? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. But... It's an ending where Duncan lives. Which I'm all for. I swear I'm the bravest one here and I'm a woman. <laughs> I only know that my wife is in Hyover with a child on the way. If they had warned me, I... it just doesn't seem fair. Where? Would you have come if they'd warned Where's you? That fair? Maybe that's why they don't. The wardens do what they must, right? Including sacrificing us. I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the blight. Damn straight. But we don't know that now, though. Don't we? The Grey Wardens have saved the world from Darkspawn before. I'd say they know better than anyone what it takes. You saw those darkspawns tonight. Wouldn't you die to protect your pretty wife from them? I am... Maybe you'll die. Maybe we'll all die. If nobody stops the darkspawn, we'll die for sure. I've just never faced a foe I could not engage with my blade. At last, we come to the joining. The Grey Wardens were founded during the First Blight, when humanity stood on the verge of annihilation. So it was that the first Grey Wardens drank of darkspawn blood and mastered their taint. We're going to drink the blood of those... those creatures. As the first Grey Wardens did before us, as we did before you. This is the source of our power and our victory. Those who survive the joining become immune to the taint. We can sense it in the Darkspawn and use it to slay the Archdemon. Marla looks so tired. She looks so tired. Those who survive? Not all who drink the blood will survive, and those who do are forever changed. This is why the joining is a secret. It is the price we pay. We speak only a few words prior to the joining, but these words have been said since the first. Alistair, if you would, Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And that one day, we shall join you. Davith, step forward. I'm sorry, Davith. Step forward, Jory. But I have a wife, a child. Had I known... There is no turning back. No. You ask too much. There is no glory in this. This guy's 
guys so dumb? If you I drink am it, sorry. you have a chance of living. Fighting Duncan was never gonna work out for you, buddy. But the joining is not yet complete. You are called upon to submit yourself to the taint for the greater good. From this moment forth, you are a Grey Warden. It is finished. Welcome. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was horrible. I'm glad at least one of you made it through. How do you feel? I also agree. It really takes me out of the scene because it's supposed to be this really serious moment and I can't stop giggling. So I really wish it was something other than the taint. Nothing you said prepared me for that. Such is what it takes to be a Grey Warden. Did you have dreams? I had terrible dreams after my joining. Such dreams come when you begin to sense the dark spawn, as we all do. That and many other things can be explained in the months to come. Before I forget, there is one last part to your joining. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. Take some time. When you're ready, I'd like you to accompany me to a meeting with the king. Very well. The meeting is to the west, down the stairs. Please attend as soon as you're able. Great. We leveled up. We drank some blood. All in all, a great day. What do I want? Another one to Dex, another one to Willpower. Another one to Strength. Next. And I'm giving you Improved Com Combat Tactic. Because that opens up things. Now that movement is something worth more. That one probably, yeah. Yeah. Not that movement. This is something else I didn't do. Oh, I got two points. That was it. I didn't realize I got two points. So I have Deadly Strike. I have... would be nice because I was missing a lot. Yeah. Or I could do... Do a weapon finesse. I'm just trying to think for the Battle of Ostagar. Probably more likely to be using daggers than a bow and arrow because close quarters. So that might be good because I'll get my defense up. And I'm going to do like a real save. Survive the joining of an hour Grey Warden when you're ready. Join Duncan at the strategy meeting. Yeah, 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 yeah. I stood there for how long? And he's like, only there. <laughs> okay, 
you don't have to follow the whole way. That's good. Logain, my decision is final. I will stand by the Grey Wardens in this assault. You risk too much, Kaelin. The Darkspawn Horde is too dangerous for you to be playing hero on the front lines. If that's the case, perhaps we should wait for the Orlesian forces to join us after all. I must repeat my protest to your fool notion that we need the Orlesians to defend ourselves. It is not a fool notion. Our arguments with the Orlesians are a thing of the past, and you will remember who is king. How fortunate Marek did not live to see his son ready to hand Ferelden over to those who enslaved us for a century. Then our current forces will have to suffice, won't they? Duncan, are your men ready for battle? They are, Your Majesty. And this is the recruit I met earlier on the road. I understand congratulations are in order. Random thought. I might want to disable background music for this for the part right after this, because I know for a fact that battle scene gets muted. It's a lovely scene. But it definitely is going to get muted. Maybe I might want to be a little more proactive about trying to avoid that. I don't feel that special. Oh, but you are. Every Grey Warden is needed now more than ever. Your fascination with glory and legends will be your undoing, Kaelin. We must attend to reality. Fine. Speak your strategy. The Grey Wardens and I draw the Darkspawn into charging our lines, and then? You will alert the tower to light the beacon, signaling my men to charge from To cover. flank the Darkspawn, I remember. This is the Tower of Ishal in the ruins, yes? Well, who shall light this beacon? I have a few men stationed there. It's not a dangerous task, but it is vital. Then we should send our best. Send Alistair and the new Grey Warden to make sure it's done. How am I your best? I literally just got here. I haven't been here for anything in this game yet. I must be lucky or something. You, you are. Either that or you have the music turned down so low that you talking over it is enough. Because the rest, so the other Dragon Age games aren't as bad, but Origins gets muted all the time. I honestly, um, I might, after my opposite run, I might stay away from Origin for a while for streaming. I have a bunch of ideas of things I want to do, but this, this game gets muted so much, and if, if I keep playing it, I really gotta at least, like, mute the, the music on it and start putting, like, pretzel rocks or something on in the background instead. <laughs> but yeah, the Battle of Ostagar got muted for me. It was the very first time I got muted. Do my best, Your Majesty. You rely on these Grey Wardens too much. Is that truly wise? Enough of your conspiracy theories, Logain. Grey Wardens battle the Blight no matter where they're from. Your Majesty, you should consider the possibility of the Arch Demon appearing. There have been no signs of any dragons in the wilds. Isn't that what your men are here for, Duncan? I. Yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the tower and its beacon are unnecessary. The we will of not Mage, trust I... any lives to your spells, mage. Save them for the Darkspawn. Enough! This plan will suffice. The Grey Wardens will light the beacon. Thank you, Logain. I cannot wait for that glorious moment. The Grey Wardens battle beside the King of Ferelden to stem the tide of evil. You are yes, too Kaelin. evil, friend. A glorious moment for us all. You heard the plan. You and Alistair will go to the Tower of Ishal and ensure the beacon is lit. What? I won't be in the battle. This is by the King's personal request, Alistair. If the beacon is not lit, Tern Loghain's men won't know when to charge. So he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch, just in case, right? I, for one, am not going to complain. I agree with Alistair, we should be in the battle but my character's gonna complain, apparently. <laughs> that is not your choice. If King Kaelin wishes Grey Wardens to ensure the beacon is lit, then Grey Wardens will be there. We must do whatever it takes to destroy the Darkspawn, exciting or no. I get it, I get it. 
Just so you know, if the king ever asks me to put on a dress and dance the Remigold, I'm drawing the line. Darkspawn or no. I love you, Alistair. Love you so much. I don't know, that could be a great distraction. <laughs> me shimmying down the Darkspawn line? Sure. We could kill them while they roll around laughing. Mm. The tower is on the other side of the gorge from the king's camp, the way we came when we arrived. You'll need to cross the gorge and head through the gate and up to the tower entrance. From the top, you'll overlook the entire valley. When do we light the beacon? We will signal you when the time is right. Alistair will know what to look for. I'm just gonna ask the questions. Are we in any danger? Of course. Even the best laid plans go awry. So do what you must. I trust you both. Just not enough to actually fight with the rest of you. <laughs> there will be plenty of battles, Alistair. Yeah. Be patient. How much time do we have? The battle is about to begin. Once I leave, move quickly. You'll have less than an hour. What if the Archdemon appears? We soil our drawers, that's what. If it does, leave it to us. I want no heroics from either of you. Can we join the battle afterwards? Stay with the Terran's men and guard the tower. If you are needed, we will send word. I know what I have to do. Then I must join the others. From here, you two are on your own. Remember, you are both Grey Wardens. I expect you to be worthy of that title. Duncan, may the Maker watch over you. May he watch yeah, over us all. <laughs> all right, tutorial over. You're on your own now, kids, is basically what that scene is, which is fine. Uh, quick save. The Tower of Ashal, light the beacon is up. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I think we can do this and have that be the stream, but we'll see. I'm also going to keep talking because I'm hoping that me talking over the scene means it won't get muted because I didn't mute the music like I talked about doing. So like, while it's a really lovely scene and the music's wonderful, I'm, I'm just going to keep talking over it <laughs> and tell everyone like, good luck. Totally the plan not, will die. work, it's Your Majesty. Be great. Of course it will. The blight ends here. Yeah, it does, buddy. Totally does. We're gonna we're gonna win the day in this one battle because it's the shortest game ever, and nothing's gonna go wrong. This is fine. Like, see that army? No big deal. We got this. He doesn't look scary at all. <laughs> yeah, Alice are so gung ho to be in this battle, and I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. I do not need to be here. <laughs> He's like, nope, this is your job, bitch. <laughs> you are going to die for the cause. The cause of me getting more power. <laughs> this is fine. It's totally fine. I'm so glad. I'm, I'm so glad that they don't expect us to be in this battle. Because I would die. Like, I, I much prefer. As much as my character was so gung ho about fighting, I'm just... like, more than fine being in the tower and not being a part of this chaos. <laughs> Also, these poor dogs are 
many of like don't like don't a lot of doggos too. Yeah, and how many of them do you think limp through this? I really hope they're smart enough that they just like run. <laughs> as soon as it gets real bad, they just run for it. Cause holy cow, that's just Yeah. Guys, stop standing Let's around. We got the shit bridge to do. And get to the tower of Ishao. Um, also, by the way, that music should have been like fairly epic, so let me know if me turning music down helped, because um, I feel like I might turn it down a little more, actually. How about you? Before me, it got a little loud. That's better. Yeah, I'm gonna turn it down a little more. Heard it just fine. Well, do you want me to turn it back up? Because I just turned it down a lot. I can split the difference. I'll split the difference. I go like that. Yeah, I'll split the difference on that for you. That's good too. No. Well, I already did it. Whatever. <laughs> All right. Saving game. All right. So now we gotta try to not like die. You will fall. Just ignore the battle. Just ignore the battle. Just ignore the battle. Ah! <laughs> ignore the explosions. Just run for it. This is fine. Oh, no. I almost made it over the bridge without falling. Last time I didn't either. Um, so yeah, last time I played this, we'll see if it's any better this time. But last time I played this, help me. They're everywhere. That scene got the muted, tower. and then this you, entire bit here got muted wardens, because they always like the tower. Her. It's been taken. What are you talking about, man? Taken how? The Darkspawn came up through the lower chambers. They're everywhere. Most of our men are dead. Then we have to get to the beacon and light it ourselves. So yeah, last time I played this, this whole part was muted on the VOD because the scene before it was muted and they, they, they muted like this giant chunk. And I was really mad about it. <laughs> Having range. What do we do now? Oh. I was going By to my ancestors. What are you doing here, bitch? <laughs> Be gone! Back to the pillaging. It will be done. Friendly fire. Difficulty setting, however, prime members take no damage from friendly fire. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure I don't do friendly fire in my version. I didn't realize that was an easy boat thing. I thought it was just like turning off friendly fire. Okay, this is fine. 
I'm doing much better this time than I did last time, I feel like. But last time I hadn't played in forever and was still trying to remember controls and now I've been playing for a while. Okay, really, really quick. I realized I've never done inventory, like, at all since I first started this. So very, very, very quickly I'm going to try to double check what things are. That made sense in my head. Okay, yeah. So this dagger is going to go here. The great sword is... known a great sword was two handed. I don't know why I did that. Uh for my other hand. Any of these longbows better? Yes. That's the best one. And what do I currently have? Nothing. So let's do fire arrows. And then I'm not going to care about the other two. I'm just going to care about me and Alistair. Because... <laughs> um. That's really all I care about. <laughs> oh. Do I have a helmet? No, I don't. I mean, I do. But this one's better. Alistair, buddy. You're putting it all into Constitution. Because holy cow. And then... Started off to charge a costume with Jesus and the hostility. Warrior check to make each attack count. the tower. Speed run this tower. I don't know if I'm going to finish the tower today. We'll see. I don't remember how big it is. I don't remember it being that long. So, might be able to finish it today. Which would be nice, especially because, like, that scene where you take out the boss is kind of epic.
Everybody wounded. Yeah, I know. It will be done. Killed everybody in this room. I'm not giving up. It's really annoying. As if they they don't kill on their own if they don't do that. Don't kill. Just gonna let them stand there and think about their fucking life choices. Holy cow. Um Yeah, that dude has an injury. Guess who doesn't have any injury kits so can't do anything about that? This girl. Yep. That mage is just injured. That's fine. Y'all. Guess this is the way I wanna go. Mage, I needed you to be less squishy. Give me all of your health potions. Also, maybe give me some injury kits. Also, maybe give me some gold. Very well. There's like, there's like one other. Excuse me, pardon me. I want the loot. Get out of my way. Injury kit. Now the question is, do I waste it on this mage that's only in my party for this quest? <laughs> what is his injury? Out of curiosity. Penalty to nature resistance to remove this injury. Use an injury kit or visit the party camp. Oh, nature resistance? I don't think that matters that much. I'm just gonna, just gonna let him be injured. It's fine. He has an open wound now. This is fine. <laughs> Yes. Oh. Save. It's like yelling at me about this injury, but I'm like, I don't even really care. It will be done. Is it mean that I'm like, meh, that mage is expendable? <laughs> Make his breath. 
What are these Darkspawn doing ahead of the rest of the Horde? There wasn't supposed to be any resistance here. Um... Weren't you complaining you weren't... you wouldn't get to fight? <laughs> hey, you're right. I guess there is a silver lining here if you think about it. At any rate, we need to hurry. We need to get up to the top of the tower and light the signal fire in time. Taron Loghain will be waiting for the signal. Yes. Um. We must strike quick. As you say. Of course. She is much nicer about collecting things than my elf. My other character is very snarky. He's like, get off my back. Very well. What do we do now? Oh, get out of my way so I can collect It will things. be done. As you say. Save and back. Anything juicy that I've missed? Um, I don't remember what exactly you, you left, but we drank some dark spawn blood. We're rewarded now. We are in the middle of the tower. And I talked, I rambled a lot to try to cover up the epic music in the opening scene of the, the battle so that maybe I don't get muted. I think that's it. I think that's the short version. Dark spawn. Beware. As you say. Yes. Yeah, I'm back down to regular arrows. I'm just going to keep that for now. Because with rapid chat, I go through the other ones so fast. As you say. Insufficient skill. Wait. That muting is just aggravating. M Marla, Munchkin's been restraining her mages. All right. To be clear, Munchkin loves mages. However, from a strategic gameplay perspective, this mage is in this party for this battle only and nothing else. And I have one injury kit, and I would much rather save it for when inevitably Alistair goes down and I need to use it on him. So don't give me that Munchkin is mistreating her mages-ish. <laughs> Munchkin loves mages. I will not 
stand for this blasphemy on my channel. <laughs> Those games better be ready to charge as soon as we light the signal. The okay. king is depending on us. We're really close, which is good. What do we do now? We collect this pile of bones. Very well. But let's make ice arrows. Yay, I like ice arrows. Um. Yeah. It will be. Of course. This is truly like the fastest I have gone through this tower, I think. We came into this world with nothing, so they should leave it so as <laughs> well. <laughs> the sounds of dogs barking in the background. What do we do now? Stop getting in the way, white eyed looted corpses. Is what we do now. Sure, I'll lead to this. <laughs> As you say. Very well.
very well. Hey, we got another injury kit. Maybe I'll heal my guy now. Also, the mage in question has a nature resistance. Like, less nature resistance is his penalty. And, like, how important is that going to be in this particular battle? Not a ton. Um, willpower go up one. Con go up one. Take deadly strike. Actually, no. I have to take death hand because I can't open anything without it. Yes. Next level. This is gonna be the hard part. Is how, last time I died once, and then got it in the second attempt. really dope. I've never... Last time I got the, the killing is over here. We've surely missed the signal. Let's light it quickly before it's too late. That I really enjoyed watching him get it instead. That was actually really fucking cool. Uh, quick save real quick. Uh, the beacon is here, right? Yeah. I don't remember if this part gets muted too or not. Sound the retreat. But this what about whole the king? Battle is a Should mess. we not do <laughs> as I command? Okay, you're such a bitch. Pull out, all of you. Let's move. Yeah, go run away and abandon the rest of us. 
It's fine. Let's just like make our sacrifice be for nothing, you little bitch. I wonder if I'm gonna roll. I wonder what I'm gonna roll for him. I wonder if I'm gonna roll, uh. You know. I don't wanna say it, because I don't know if Will knows or not. There are choices to make with Will Game that are interesting. I don't know, but. Uh, I can look it up later. I'm not sure. It might be. You don't know. Yeah, there are choices in low game that are very interesting, and I'm gonna do them in my opposite run for sure, but I might also end up rolling it here. We'll see how we'll see what happens. Go, Duncan, go! Ah, it's like a one-man army. I wish she lasted longer. <laughs> I just, I want my boy to live. I wanted, like, even if he's not a companion, I just wanted to be able to, like, talk to him every once in a while. Or, like, get him in the big final battle at the end. That would be so cute. But no. We did my boy dirty. They were like, here, you know this, like, gorgeous and talented man that you like fall for at the beginning of the game. Yeah, no, you don't get him for very long. <laughs> blah, blah. But you get Alistair forever and always. Well, forever and always pending choices. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we got to keep future stuff. Fu I, I'm going to, I'm going to have like a no spoilers on Dragon Age roll for a little bit because Will's doing his first playthrough and I'd like for him to get ah, to really enjoy your it. eyes finally open mother she'll be pleased why do we wake up naked well not naked but like mostly naked oh the timing on this is so great because we're almost done and it's almost time to be done I remember you the girl from the wilds I am Morrigan lest you have forgotten and we are in the wilds where I am bandaging your wounds and you, you are, are such welcome, a bitch, and by I the love way. You. How does your memory fare? Do you remember Mother's Rescue? I know it's a 12 year old game, but I want to try to preserve your uh, gameplay as much as possible. I mean, if shit happens, shit happens, but I do want to try to make it so that you. So there's some stuff that's like a really big surprise, and then some stuff where I assume you would have been spoiled on it by now. She rescued me? You mean from the tower? Mother managed to save you and your friend, though it was a close call. What is important is that you both live. The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. Sure. I mean, for me, um, I'm in the same boat with Mass Effect, where it's a really old game, but I'd really appreciate it if people shut the fuck up while I play it. So I get it, but like you don't want you like you don't want to be like that because it is a really old game. But at the same time, like I definitely have enjoyed it more not knowing what was coming. My friend, you mean Alistair? The suspicious, dim-witted one who was with you before. Yes, he is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. Which, um, speaking of aspect. I am I'm, I'm closer to done than not done at this point. Like, um, I have two DLCs for ME2 left, but I finished the main game, so I know what happens there, and then I just have three and Andromeda, but I don't care as much about Andromeda spoilers. Thank you for helping me, Morgan. I, y you were welcome. Though Mother did most of the work, I am no healer. Do you have all the companions now? For two? Yeah, I mean, I finished the main game, so yes. I did get last-minute companion um, during whatever that main quest is. That's right before the end. 
and it was quite the surprise. James kept being like, you'll see, like, he kept eluding the things without saying anything, and I assumed it meant it was going to be, s like, oh, someone from one comes back. And then that happens instead, and it's such a, such a twist. I will stay and make something to eat. And yeah, I, d I don't know if they're my favorite, but I did really enjoy, it was a great surprise, and it was a really interesting choice, and I, I liked it. And I did use them. We'll talk on Discord. We'll spoiler tag talk on Discord because I don't want to get you in, into it. But yeah, I th I had I have thoughts about. I kept playing that game really late at night and then not really talking about As it. As you say. He required. Oh, I think you get that from Flemeth, maybe. Also, my inventory is full. I'll have to deal with that. So, I am going to do the little chit-chat with Flemeth and then probably call it there. But we'll see, because I know, I know, I, I know Word Gun Girl is possibly going to be running late for starting, and I do want to read her. But yeah, when I, when I finish this, I will go and write a little spoiler tag See, thing about here is your too. fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You? You're alive? <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. Yeah. I'm not thanks to Morrigan's mother. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Yep. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. Yep. I, I didn't mean... Respect. Respect, but, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name? Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Daveth was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both I well. I know a bit of not? magic is grossly understating your capabilities, Flemeth. <laughs> I suppose we should thank you. If you know what is good for you, I suppose you should. We can't be safe here. Where are all the darkspawn? The largest part of the Horde has moved on. We are safe enough for now. Old Flemeth knows a thing or two about hiding. The longer you are here, the less that is true, however. These things will notice you eventually. We need to stop this flight somehow. We need to bring Loghain to judgment. Why would he do this? Why indeed? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. Um, this is a lot of questions. But I am going to roll to see which one of these. Alistair is the real Grey Warden here, not me. All Grey Wardens in Ferelden are gone. Except for us. I've lost everyone. For the love of the Maker, don't back out on me now. I can't say why a bit is accurate. So we're gonna have two conversations on Discord because I'd love I've played all the games. And I'm curious what you mean by that. So I should take on a suicide mission instead. Oh, it must be suicide now. <laughs> My, but that is a lot to ask after all. Duncan was like a father to me. I won't let his death be in vain. But I can't do anything on my own. That's fair. I mean, I'm going to do it. If I roll something that doesn't, that that is too, like, negative, I'm probably not going to. What is this archdemon exactly? That, that's why. It is said that long ago, the Maker sent the old gods of the ancient Tevinter Imperium to slumber in prisons deep beneath the surface. An archdemon is an old god awakened and tainted by darkspawn. Believe that or not. History says it's a fearsome and immortal thing, and only fools ignore history. 
We should contact the rest of the Grey Wardens. Kaelin already summoned them. They'll come if they can, but I expect Loghain has already taken steps to stop them. We must assume they won't arrive in time. Um, oh, I wish this set came with a D2. Um, I'm going to do odds and evens instead. Which I've gotten even ones. What is this? The throne? He's the queen's father. Still, I can't see how he'll get away with murder. You speak as if he would be the first king to gain his throne that way. Grow up, boy. If Al Eamon knew what he did, he would never stand for it. The landsmeet would never stand for it. There would be civil war. You think the Earl would believe us over the Tyrion? I suppose. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kaelin's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the Landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Everyone will see the danger the Blight poses, right? You could wait for the Archdemon to make its appearance. I imagine that might be convincing. It's been centuries since the last Blight. Nobody will take it seriously until it's too late. We need the rest of the Grey Wardens. I don't know how to contact them, or, or if they're even on their way. We need to do something now. You have more at your disposal than you think. Of course! The treaties! Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. This sounds like so a can series we do this? of fetch quests. Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army. This whole game is just, go get this thing. Oh, to get this thing, you need to do this other thing. <laughs> Why not? Isn't that what Grey Wardens do? So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. happy with just staying alive. <laughs> That's hmm. fair. Come to think of it, that would be nice. <laughs> well, don't expect me to do everything. There is, however, one more thing I can offer you. The stew is bubbling, mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? <laughs> you <laughs> heard me, girl. Part of the, game. <laughs> the last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> I love her reaction, but she's like, wait, what? <laughs> Thank you, but if Morgan doesn't wish to join us... Her magic will be useful. Even better, she knows the wilds and how to get past the horde. Have I no say in this? Nope. You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Was this your idea all along? Pardon me, but I had the impression that you two needed assistance, whatever the form. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother? This is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens. Do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. I'm going to eliminate two as an option and say that by rolling two, it's she will come to harm with us because I do not like the second option. Allow me to get my things, if you please. All right, so 
I am at your disposal, Activist. Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. I have no problems with your presence if Alistair does it. From the way he glares, I imagine that answer is clear. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? Yes! I guess you're right. The Grey Wardens have always taken allies where they could find them. I am so pleased to have your approval. I may have answers. Ask. And then I'm just gonna ask everything. Twas she who raised me, and thus I consider her my mother, born from her womb or not. Tis what you meant, yes? Which is a great way to stall for time, because Ward Fangirl is indeed running late. Ironically, I finished right on time, and I'm just kind of stalling now. It's just difficult to imagine her. Young, married, pregnant. Who said she was any of these things? I certainly did not. Have you... Have you never been outside the wild? From time to time. I have been to the village I mentioned, watched its people, and pondered what curious beings they are. On occasion, I purchased Good goods morning, from Hank. the village merchants. There I spoke with men a little. There they stared and knew me as an outsider. Mother wishes for me to expand the horizon of my experience beyond the wilds. Even she was not born here. So, Hitty, you're lucky, because normally I'd be wrapping up now, but the person that I want to raid isn't on yet, so I'm just kind of stalling for time. So I have as long as they're running late, and then whenever I find a good place to stop after that, that's where I'm going to go. What I want is to see mountains. I wish to witness the ocean and step into its waters. I want to experience a city rather than see it in my mind. So, yes, this is what I want. Actually, leaving is harder than I thought, however. Perhaps Mother is right. It must simply be done quickly. I'm glad you were able to say hi, too. Um... How's your, how's your day going? It is a small place of little consequence called Lothering. No more than a stop along your Imperial Highway where travelers purchase goods from local farms and smiths. I would go more often were it not for the town's chantry. It makes the village particularly intolerant and unpleasant for a stranger such as me. A chantry? And they never in all this time thought that maybe you were a witch. Of course they have. They even called out their Templars once. They found nothing. I mention it for its tavern, where travelers gather with news from other places. Tis small enough that our appearance might go unnoticed. Beyond that, tis close, and I know the way. Just recovering from yesterday's late night. Were you up late streaming? How are we going to get past the Darkspawn? The real question is how we are going to get your friend past the Darkspawn, is it not? That's true. We can sense the Darkspawn. Conversely, they can sense us. I've had... Last night I actually went to bed early-ish for me. And by... Ah, uh, nah, that's a lie. I went to bed right around what I normally go to bed. However, the two nights before that, I stayed up till 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. respectively. And it felt really good to, like, three felt early. So, yeah, I got, like, a good amount of sleep, um, comparatively to, because 
Thursday night, I was up late watching Crow Court Roll. And then the night before, I was up late watching someone play Trespasser for the first time. Stream till about 3 a.m. but didn't sleep till 5. I always get like a streamer high at the end. Oh yeah, I feel, th I, I feel that. <laughs> you get like, amped up. That's not reassuring. We should be able to sneak past smaller groups, but larger ones, or particularly intelligent dark spawn, will always detect us. Mother has given me something else for them to smell instead as we pass by. Tis important we head out of the wilds, however, not farther in. They come from underground, like an eruption. They broke through deep within the forest, and that is where they will be most concentrated. Falling off the trick. Campaign of Kirk Roll fell too far behind, can't keep up. I... I remember it being really hard to get caught up when I first started, and I was like, I started sometime in the middle of campaign one. But once I caught back up, I never really got more than like an episode or two behind. My partner is currently li listening to pod the podcast at work, and is moving at a better speed than I anticipated him to. Like, we might actually, within a couple months hit the point where he can start watching with me which is exciting I know a few spells though I am nowhere near as powerful as mother I have also studied history and your Grey Warden treaties can you cook I can cook Alistair, yes that's a sexist question Rolling fours, they are useless. One. Never mind him, you don't have to cook. You missed your chance. Now it's child rabbit from here on out. I have no more questions. Farewell, mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned down hut. Bah! Tis far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I. All I meant was. Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. Um, Alistair and Morgan both- I- it's so rare you can get approval from both Alistair and Morgan in the same time. So that was great. Um, the good thing for you two that are way behind on the show is you're not constantly waiting for new material, because there's just always something there for you whenever you want it. Also, I have no spoiler rule for Kirk Roll here, so no one's ever going to spoil you. At least in this little corner of the internet. There's other stuff you got to avoid, I know, but um, I'm very good about no spoilerinos. Alright. Let's see where we're at. D12. Have we, have we started yet? No, we have not. I don't think so, anyway. Uh, where are we at? Where are we at? Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. And then I have to decide what we're doing next. Yeah, no. Still not on. So we're just gonna keep going. I'm gonna at least... Um, check the journal, figure out what our next quest is. Because now we have four options. And I re I'm gonna roll for it. Twitter is very difficult on Thursdays. Yeah, you can, if you mute, mute the two hashtags that everyone uses, you'll get 99% of it weeded out. But where me, I am spoiler central. <laughs> no, Kemsey, don't do it. Um, but yeah, most of the people I follow are very good about hashtagging things so that you can avoid it if you want to avoid it. I usually just stay off Twitter because there's one or two people that don't really do that. Which is annoying. But usually I, I manage to get like the vague tweets that don't really tell me anything and not anything super spoilery. 
All right, so I'm going to roll a d4 to see which quest we're doing first. And I am praying, praying that it's not a paragon of her kind. Because I swear to Christ, if I am doing that quest in both games at the same time, I will tear my hair out. But I'm going to let the dice decide. You know. Because remember the last time I was like, I really hope it's not this one. And, and, and we end up killing that guy. You know I'm going to roll a two now. No, I rolled a one. So we're going to do the Earl of Redcliffe. Alistair thinks you should seek the help of Ivan Jurid, the Earl of Redcliffe. Earl Ivan is highly respected noble and has a great deal of influence in the landscape. Alistair believes that he will certainly aid you once he learns about Logan's betrayal. Oh, hey. Hey, I haven't had a bot in a while. Um, I'm not on mod mode. One second. By the time this loads, Will will have taken care of it. Yeah, you got it. I had to go into moderator m mode to get the option. Because for some reason, when you're in dashboard, it doesn't let you do moderator things, which is really dumb. So thank you, Will. Um, I used to be in follower only mode, which I think is why um, I managed to not get bots for a really long time, but I took it off for Dragon Age Day and never put it back. I'm amazed that it took so long between then and now to get my first bot. This is why I exist, no worries. Well, thank you. I think Word Fan Girl's about to go live, which is really good timing. Um, so we will just like get this one started and then go raid her. So the Earl of Redcliffe means we wanna First of all we wanna go to where the world map is. Oh I also wanna do inventory you know what? I'll do inventory off stream. Since we're so close to it. I will do inventory off stream. I'm assuming Oh that's right. We have to go to Lothering first, and then we do that one. Right. So let's go. <laughs> I'm not going to make Will shout himself out, but I am going to give Will a shout out for being a mod on. And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar, and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Honora's regent, and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most... fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Bantigan, please! Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... 
Yeah, well. Antigon, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, your majesty? Dun, dun, dun. I love that those cutscenes get peppered in as you progress in the game. You see what he's up to. Where Cut Girl has gone live, so as soon as I find a good place to stop, I'm gonna call it. Puppy! There's my good boy. And now we have our whole party. And I think a battle, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Dog. Um. Spawn. Beware. Begin the onslaught. This is a waste of time. But <laughs> I like Blutkin better than Mud Butt. <laughs> Shoot. I'm not okay, no, that's not a, I'm not that's not an option. So if I eliminate that one too is actually this. I think he was out there looking for you. He's chosen you. I'm not Barbaria gonna like that. They call it imprinting. Does this mean we're going to have this mangy beast following us about now? Wonderful. That He's is, not that is mangy. Number one rule: always be nice to the puppy. So if I ever roll something that is me like kicking him or being mean to him or yelling at him, I'm not doing it. I love the dog. The dog is best boy. He can come, but he better make himself useful. See, that's like mean, but not that mean. So. And yet we still have Alistair along. Happy bark. All right. Well, give me a name for the dog. No pressure. <laughs> Actually, anyone in chat can come up with a name for the dog. I just said Will because he tends to be the one that comes up with the names for things him and cafe but anyone in chat who wants to name my puppy throw me suggestions we will name the dog and then we will go raid the chaos crew i don't want to name him bark spot this time i want to name him something else needs to match mabariana grande energy yeah I don't know, like, I think I need Cafe for that. I think I need to text Cafe right now and be like, yo, what's the name of my dog? <laughs> I do truly wish he was here. Because he is so good at naming things. But how about Chaos? I thought about it. Chaos Pop? Post Malone. <laughs> I I'm trying to think like what what what's a good play off of this? Although 
just yelling chaos is kind of funny. I'm terrible, this is known. Oh, you are wonderful, Kempsey. I'm really bad at naming things too, that's why I had Chad do it. And when I name the dog, I almost always go with Barksmon, because I'm not original. Um, I don't think I can do something that long. It also has to be all one word, I think. Because it's not letting me do spaces. I was thinking maybe that or just that. I could just do Chaos Belt. Uh, I don't want to spend too long naming the dog because I really want to go. <laughs> I really want to go watch Dega Rapa. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not gonna lie, my priorities here are, are like other people's stream than my stream. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this. I'm just, oh, I can't do an exclamation point either. That's sad. Chaos pop. I can't do an exclamation point, but I can do chaos pop. So let's do that. Confirm. Um, and level up Alistair and then call it. Uh, con. Let's do more in a con. And. Get your cutting up one, I think. And then, uh, you already have. I'm probably going to give him survival for now, and then a w Yeah, maybe shield defense. Let's play game. Alright, great. Um, I'm going to save. I'll do some inventory stuff, I'll stream. And that's gonna be that. Thank you very much everyone for joining me. Um Really, really quickly, if you're not already following me on Twitter, that's my Twitter. If you're not already in the Discord, which I think everyone here is today, you can join my Discord. I have, I don't remember if it's warning or warnings. It's warnings, I think. Um, just a warning that the person we're rating is playing Dang and Rampa, which has a bunch of content warnings that I listed here. Uh, if it's not your thing, and you just wanna either pop in and say hi and leave or skip out on the raid, that's completely valid. The top, you're probably safe because the top is usually like opening stuff where she like recommends a, a bookseller and a creator. So that's usually nice and, the beginning's nice and wholesome and then the game is not wholesome at all. So um, that's your warning for that. And I, my friend for the week, has been funny hair. I think he still needs average views to go up to make affiliate, and I think his next stream is tomorrow, but I don't know what time. I'm so sorry, because uh, I don't do Sundays. Um, there are other streamers like Wednesday night, I want to say. And with that, we're going to raid Word Fangirl. I hope everyone has a great weekend, and I will see everyone Wednesday for... Um, canon run of Dragon Age. What is happening? My, my computer's freaking out. I tried to type in. There we go. She's in just chatting mode, so yeah, she's doing like her creator and stuff. So everyone, if you have my emotes, throw a heart. If you have her emotes, throw a heart. Um, otherwise, just any generic heart will do. And with that, 
I'm going to start the raid. Thank you very much and have a great rest of your day.